outdoor school of thought. Check it out. He'll teach you how to fish. This is only my second time out here. Look at me. Follow this man. <laughs> A million followers overnight. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Outdoor School of Thought. Here with Mark, boy Tion. We're here in Pacifica on the last day of Dungeness crab season. So today I still have herring that I got from, if you remember the herring video back in January. Got a bunch of it still in the fridge, so I'm gonna use it for bait today. Um, my boy Jason showed me how to modify a bait cage just to make sure that the crabs don't actually get to the bait, but it still fills the water with the scent so I cut up one of those bait envelopes those plastic ones and then zip tied it to this Danielson cage let's just fill it there we go I'm gonna zip tie this to my cone trap right there I actually prefer cone traps instead of the hoop nets so I'm gonna zip tie this a bunch to this net Uh, this is herring, but uh, you could use any like fish carcass. So if you have like fish heads or whatever, yeah, because yeah, they go the crabs are scavengers, so they'll go for anything that has a scent. Uh, I got this one online because like I like the cone traps because they just climb over and then they can't get out. The hoop net they can still fall out while you're pulling up, and then um, what's the other one. Oh yeah, the. The square cage, it's just heavy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I like this one, I can throw it far. So I got one of these seal proof bait cages. Not that I've seen any seals here, but when I was at Fort Baker, it totally thrashed my bait bag. You can see from that one over there. It's better to use one of these. I haven't used it with one of my cone nets though. I think these are safer inside cages, but we'll give it a shot. What's up, dude? We're already filming. We're already filming. No, no worries. <laughs> I only got two giant squids. I didn't know how many we needed. We're good. We're good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Nothing like jumbo squid in the morning. Yeah, I guess I have two. Yeah, and I saw the two big metal. Yeah, yeah it does like that too. Though. That's perfect. So that goes. We have another one of these. Foot gets tangled. Pull up the slack and then tie it off. Yeah, because you don't want that getting wrapped around a pylon too. Yeah. So once it hits bottom, you can just tie it up. So how did that feel? Was that everything you dreamed of and more? Everything. <laughs> Get out there. We don't need that much. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking like, what could possibly go wrong? Crabs near, putting the herring in. I can only fit one in there. My life. What do you think, Sam? Yeah. This is my next door neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, got one. Hey. I don't want to lose it though. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. Oh, pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh, oh. 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 Good. I gotta finesse it. I gotta finesse it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hey. I don't think you can do it. Oh, that's a rock. No, it's dungy. Yeah, it's dungy. Nice. Oh. Looks like a keeper. 
Yeah. Oh, I thought it only had one arm, but it had one arm out, one arm in. First catch of the day. It's probably yeah. under. Yeah. It looks. It's probably <laughs> under. It looks. Is it? It's under. It's under. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swish, yeah. Curry. Yeah. Throw on the other side, right? Oh, that, li that literally looks like Let's the one go. we just caught. We want the big boy. Get over yourself the out of you. here. <laughs> throw him over that way. Yeah. Hey, hey, first catch. First catch of the day. Yeah. It's only gonna get bigger from here. Let's go. Personally, I like going after rock crab because the regulations are a lot less strict. You're allowed to take 35 per day and as long as they're a minimum of four inches across their back. It's important to have a measuring tool on you at all times because Department of Fish and Game will come by and check if you've been measuring your crabs. So it's just good practice to make sure that you always have one handy. I put rubber bands on the elbows of the rock crab that I catch to prevent them from tearing each other's limbs off when they're in the bucket. They tend to be very aggressive and territorial and so they will attack each other. And it's also for my own safety. It makes the crab safer to handle. It's important to note that it's illegal to keep any Dungeness crab that's caught within the San Francisco Bay, but you can keep rock crab. That is a six incher across. Now to not die while banding this guy. Luckily has one claw for me to worry about. Can you sneak that past the little... I found that the rubber bands are a lot easier to work with when they've been warmed up. When they're yeah. cold, it's really hard to stretch nope. them. Once you've slipped the rubber band on, make sure that there's enough slack between the tool and the arm so that you don't rip the arm off when you release the rubber band. Oh, I see three, two! Oh my god, these things are huge! Damn, that one's huge. That's a, probably a, like a six or seven incher. That is scary. Yeah, that's yours, dude. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. He's <laughs> big. Just put him on the ground. Put him on the ground. Put him on the ground. Yeah, he's big. He's stabbing. No, he's stabbing me in my fingers. This one is scary. I don't want to get. <laughs> hey, you gotta call him and let him know we got oh, more here. Da, da, da. He's crawling back. Half is coming. You gotta call him and let him know we got more here. Who, Larry? Then? Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> That's scary. Where's he going? Boom. We got Roman Reigns over here. That's yours. Donna. That's definitely Donna. yours. Donna. <laughs> what is this? The Rock? That's Dwayne the Johnson right here? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. I need a W right now because Durant left the Warriors. I imagine he would. It's okay. We were winning championships without him. Yeah, yeah. Toss him. <laughs> yeah, but he tried to get away. Like a pro. Yeah, buddy. So to hold it. We have, we have the back not legs. This one. The back <laughs> legs. There, I have to. Yeah, just pinch it. There, just hold tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> okay, I give it back. 
Thank you. And they are going to the restaurant, or is it for yourself? It's for, for ourselves. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you enjoy that episode? Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to Outdoor School of Thought on YouTube. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Outdoor School of Thought, where you can find pictures and videos that may not have made it to the episode. You can also support our channel by wearing Outdoor School of Thought branded gear. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, and stickers at the link in the description. See you at the next episode.